The love affair is over. No frills, just frustration. With long queues, increased security and lusting over those who can still afford to turn left. According to IATA, the International Air Transport Association, global premium traffic was up 9.6% last November. Here in the UK, first-class travellers have voiced what annoys them the most. <laughs> Noisy children came top in a survey conducted by the Business Travel and Meetings Show. Some went as far as suggesting adult-only cabins. Personally, think it's a very good idea and it should have come out years ago. I think there is a market there, certainly. I think it's a bit of a nonsense. If you're on an adult only, you know that you can 100% concentrate. You've got to arrive fresh for a meeting at the other end and there's been 14 hours of screaming all the way. I don't know, maybe that's, you know, I, I think if, as a choice as opposed to uh, enforced. I mean, I understand horses for courses and if it's something that you can pay extra for, yeah, <laughs> I'd pay extra. <laughs> Whether in business class or not, we've all experienced noisy children on planes and noisy adults. The reality is they're all dealing with much bigger issues than that, uh, such as trying to get through airport security in good shape. Um, the, the content fragmentation that's going on, that just basically means people are getting different fares from all over the place, different systems on the internet, uh, unbundling, so not knowing what the total cost of a trip is, um, immigration, taxes... Um, you know, there's all sorts of massive issues that people are dealing with other than, uh, than children. Adult-only cabins may be one wish that won't come true, with airlines so far showing no interest in pandering to this whim. After all, business travellers are called road warriors for a reason. They're used to running the gauntlet on the ground, so they can also put their hands up and share their premium space in the air. Aisha Dergahi, CNN, London.